Hello and welcome to Science Everywhere. Bandwidth, we have heard this term, but what does it mean? Computers use the binary language of ones and zeros to communicate with each other. These signals of ones and zeros are transmitted as electric pulses. A high pulse indicates a one, while a low pulse indicates a zero. Coming back to the original question of bandwidth, bandwidth is the frequency range over which a signal spans itself. Such type of bandwidth is measured in a unit known as hertz. Bandwidth can also be defined as the data transmitted per unit time, which is measured in bits per second or megabits per second. One important thing to be noted about bandwidth is that as it increases, the speed of your connection also increases. Here you may ask that why can't we increase the bandwidth of our connection infinitely so as to get an infinite speed? Well, wait a second, there's a catch. Bandwidth is not just directly related to the speed, it is also inversely related to the range. Hence, as the bandwidth increases, the range decreases. Hence, just in case you have a Wi-Fi router with a higher bandwidth, you may have a higher speed of connection, but the range of the connection will be low. The electromagnetic band in the bandwidth can be used in two different ways, namely baseband and broadband. You may have heard these terms, but what do they mean? Baseband which is used in Ethernet connections uses the whole band to transmit just one signal of information whereas broadband which is used in TVs transmits a number of signals through the whole band. Another differentiating property is that baseband allows you to either send or receive a signal but not both at the same time whereas broadband allows you to send as well as receive the signals both at the same time but when do we use each of these? The usage depends on the conditions for transmission. Baseband uses very low frequency waves which can deteriorate over long distances. Hence, they are used for short distance communications like communications over a local area network or LAN like Ethernet. Broadband on the other hand uses very high frequency waves to transmit the information signal. Such waves can travel over long distances very easily. Hence, a broadband connection is used in long distance communication devices like television sets or radio sets. So now you know what the megabits per second speed of your internet connection means and you also know the various types of band usages and where they are used. Thanks for watching Science Everywhere. If you learned something new, give this video a like and also subscribe for some more awesome science.